So we're entering year two of this conflict. What's the best case scenario for how it goes for Ukraine in the next two years? It's conceivable that with the addition of the tanks, the armored personnel carriers that are flowing in now from NATO, with the right amount of ammunition, the right coaching, and if we added to it fighter aircraft, that would give the Ukrainians the ability to conduct truly offensive operations. It would allow the Ukrainians to flank mm -hmm. the Russians. That could be a military pivot. Yeah. In one year, Putin has had probably 100,000 killed and 100,000 wounded. That's unsustainable. In terms of morale within the country or literally yes. unsustainable from a military perspective? It's unsustainable in terms of the support for Putin. Mm -hmm. And then any time you lose a soldier on the front line, you have lost a very well-trained asset that you then have to recreate, and their system is not good enough to recreate it. But on the other side of the firing line, Volodymyr Zelensky has a burn rate, and his burn rate is us. It's our patience. How long are we willing to continue to supply the funding, the equipment? As the year goes on, both sides will feel pressure to come towards some kind of a negotiation. Hands down, do you think Ukraine can win this war? Depends what you mean by win. Zelensky's definition is not an inch of territory goes to Russia, including what was an they annexed. In I, I, think it's, I think it's possible uh, that the Ukrainians could force the Russians out of their nation. I think that's less likely militarily than a Korean War-like ending in which there's territory held on both sides. There are negotiations that continue. A frozen conflict, I think, is the more likely outcome. What's a worst case scenario that we could expect to see? I think, unfortunately, there's about a one in three chance Russia conceivably could do a two-pronged military attack, one from the north, one from the south, flank the Ukrainian forces, and then turn and drive toward Kyiv. Worst, worst case scenario, Russia is on the eastern flank of NATO's border. What does that mean? The Ukrainians would continue to fall back to the west of their country. I think at that point, NATO probably puts boots on the ground and a no-fly zone up, because at this stage, um, we are not going to simply walk away from the Ukrainians. Is that World War III? We have to be careful here yeah. that we don't self-deter, that we don't right. take counsel of our fears and say, ooh, Putin's got nuclear weapons. That's really scary. That's a lesson of this last year, to not. It is. If we hold our nerve, I think in the end, it'll be Russia who cracks.